Hello everybody, welcome back to another bullet journal plan with me video. Today I'm setting up my monthly spread for July. For this month's theme, I chose this super minimalist but very fun design. It's basically these blobs in three colors. I'm just using that navy blue, light gray, and mustard yellow throughout this whole month, so it's really easy. As usual, all my materials will be in the description box below, so if you're interested, look down there. This month's design is inspired by Plan for Productivity. I will make sure to link her in the description box so you can check out her YouTube and her Instagram. For this month's font, I chose this monoline cursive. The only difference between this and regular cursive is basically from the upstrokes to the downstrokes, it's not like a sharp corner, it's just a curve, which I thought makes it a little unique. Moving on to my quote page on the left side of the spread, I chose a quote by Nelson Mandela, and I think it's really fitting to this month in particular. It says, social justice is the only basis of human happiness. I think it's important to remember that even during our everyday lives, as things are starting to get back to normal, we continue the fight against racism and other forms of oppression. I will be linking a few websites in the description box below so that you can educate yourself as well as donate and sign petitions in support of the Black Lives Matter movement and other social justice issues. Moving on to the second spread of this video, I am setting up my monthly calendar. For this spread, I added about five blobs all around the pages, and I did a simple lined calendar. I've chosen to do this really easy vertical and horizontal lines for this whole month, as opposed to last month when I did sort of rounded blocks for the entire spreads. In case you didn't watch last month's bullet journal setup video, look in the top right hand corner of this screen where I've attached a link to that video. The size of each box in this setup is six boxes wide and seven boxes tall. On the left hand side of this spread, I put my growth trackers for Instagram and YouTube as usual. I basically write down the date for every Saturday, and at the end of that day, I note my followers. After the month, I can see how much I've grown. I'm writing down the days of the week as well as the word July in that same font that I used on my cover page. Like I said before, it was that sort of curvy, cursive font and it's really easy to do. I honestly don't know how, but every time I write the numbers in my calendar, I somehow mess it up every single time. Anyways, I accidentally wrote two numbers in one of the boxes, so I just used my white gel pen to correct that. In one of the boxes for the 15th, I had to go over that dark blue marker, and I ended up just using that white gel pen because it shows up a little better than the black.
After I added a few more blobs and I threw in some of those super easy flower doodles, that was pretty much it. This is a really simple spread, but it works for me. Moving on to the last spread of this video, I'm setting up my first weekly spread for this month. Usually, I do my weekly setups every Sunday at 10 a.m. on my Instagram Live, but for the purposes of this video, I'm setting it up here. For my weekly spreads, I generally make them two-page. So on the left side, it indicates the week, and I put a little bit of a doodle or that month's design. And on the right side is the actual week spread. For this week, I split the page into six boxes, and then I split the last one in half, so there's seven all together. And then I put a little blob of color in each corner for the day of the week. On the left page of this spread, I did a few more of those blobs and then I wrote out week one in the same font. I realized now as I'm doing the voiceover that I forgot to put the dates. So usually I'll put like the range of dates. In this case, I believe it would be 25 to two for the first week, but I did that afterwards. So just keep that in mind. Now for the final flip through of this month's setup, I really like how it turned out. I love the quote that I found because I think it really speaks to this month and I love the design. These colors, I honestly took so long to figure out what three colors I wanted to use, but I like what I ended up with. If you end up recreating this design or this sort of spreads, make sure to tag me on Instagram at cat underscore journals. I would love to see what you come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Please stay safe and have a wonderful time bullet journaling. Until next time!